Hi, my YouTube family. How are we doing today? I hope everyone is doing great. I'm doing great. Today, I will be showing you how to make brown stew fish. It's what I'm making today. And before we get started on the video, I hope you guys have already subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button so you guys be notified when the next video is up. So today I will be showing you how I make my brown stew fish. What I'm going to do now is show you guys the ingredients that you will be needing for this meal. Okay, here are the ingredients that you will be needing for your brown stew fish. Hope I said fish in the beginning. Hopefully I said fish, but this will be neat. I'm, we're using white vinegar because the fish is here. I will be cleaning that with some white vinegar. I have some ginger here. I have some garlic. I have some paprika. I have some red fish seasoning and some black pepper. I'm going to put all this ingredients together in this bowl here. And then so that way, because once I do the fish, I won't be able to touch anything else because I'm touching the fish. So I will be putting all the seasonings in this bowl here before I put it on the fish. That way I won't be contaminating, touching the fish, then going back touching the seasoning packets. And then on this side is what I'm gonna cut up and put in the frying pan, saute this up with some all spice. Okay, and some ketchup. I always forget to do the ketchup sometimes. But I, but I always show you guys that on the end. So this is what we're going to be using here. Once I get ready to brown stew the fish, this is what I'm using to season the fish. Fish, you can season it. I'm going to show you guys. You guys are going to see everything that I'm going to be doing anyway. So let's get some back up a little bit so you can see. And I will show you the fish as soon as I turn you guys around. Okay, my YouTube family. I am taking it out. I got three yellow snappers here. I'm not gonna bring it to close to the camera because I don't want the, the fish um, juices to run all over my counter. But here is the fish here, three fishes here. I'm gonna take my time and clean each one with the white vinegar. Mommy, could you pull that garbage can close to me? Dang. I'm going to make sure it's all scales off, which they're not. If you scale it in the water, you control where the scales are going to fly. You don't have to worry about them running all over the place. I just do like this to make sure all the scales are off. We're good here. Let's see here. Mm -mm. 
side. Oh, this is really clean. Next one. Oh, these are big fish. I might have to split these bad boys in half. This one not scaled. It's not scaled good enough for me. So, One minute, guys. Almost forgot to turn you guys back on. Which side is I doing? One thing about stores, you gotta make sure you go behind them when it comes to fish. Because when you think they're clean, they're not. I wish I could show y'all how the inside looks. You guys could zoom in on it. I'm gonna do it like this. And if you guys wanna see the inside, just pause it and zoom in. Cause I don't like to, not, I'm not running that fish all over my kitchen. And I'm gonna cut it in my sink. I'm not using my cutting board to cut the fish on. That's what any, well, shrimp I do, but seafood is another problem. I mean, fish is something else. You can't really, mm -mm, I just don't chance it. This one looks, feels clean. I ain't really doing that to this one. With the first two. Yeah, this one feels good. I stopped up my sink so I could start running the water and I just got the fish down in the water running it so if any scales, they don't pop all over my kitchen. Okay, 
think we're done. Oh, a scale just bit me. I mean, bit me. A scale just got me. I have my water, putting that fork in there. And now I am finna to let this water out here. Okay, my water is out. Fish are nice and cleaned out. Now I need to wash them with some vinegar. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is open it, cut the water off. I need to pour some vinegar on it. I use in white vinegar. Pour white vinegar in on it gotta be careful i'm getting stuff by the scale the fins here Wipe the face, the eyeballs, put it in the mouth. really bad okay I'm gonna let it sit here I'm not gonna rinse the vinegar off right now just let it sit on a fish for a minute I put it inside the fish too in the gills everything so I just need it to sit up I need to let that vinegar sit on it for a little bit before I actually rinse it off I'll be back in about three minutes. Oh my God, that stuck myself. Okay, while we're waiting on that fish to um, clean out a little bit, let's go ahead on and put all our dry ingredients together, which is the ginger. I'm gonna put a generous amount because I got three big fish here. Ooh, I hope I got another ginger in there. Some garlic powder. Some paprika. Some um, red fish seasoning. I have to open this one because I, did, I was out. I should already had your open. I knew you was new. A generous amount because I have three big fish here. This is going to go on the inside and the outside of the fish. Hopefully that's enough of that. I'm going to leave that open. Some black. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I just inhaled some black pepper. <coughs> I'm going to mix all this up together. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I'm putting the fish in here. I need to drain some of the water off before I um, add the seasoning because I want the seasoning to stick to the fish. I should have put something under. Making all that noise. What I'm gonna take with my knife is I'm gonna make three scolding marks on the fish. Hope you guys can see me. I'm gonna go here, all the way down to the bone. You hear it touch that bone. Here, then I'm gonna do the other side. Hear it all the way down to the bone. Another scale all the way down to the bone. Three nice marks. That way the fish cooks perfectly. What I'm gonna do is cut the tail part off, <coughs> sorry, to make sure that the whole fits, the whole fish fits in my pan. that break and now I'll continue to cut it out try to cut my hand because these this this knife here is really sharp so here. Now I'm going to season my fish with the dry. This side in. Generous amount. <coughs> Inside the fish too.
Every time I use this, I think this, this spice here is too strong for me. Every time I use it, it does that to me. Did she get it up there with the head? All over the fish. You see how the fish is dry? It's not rinsing off the seasoning. It's sticking to the fish. That's what you want. You want the seasoning to stick to the fish, not run off the fish. Okay. See, I was soaking on it. Look at that, how it's looking. It's drying on there, it's curing on there. Lift up that fin. See, it's not rinsing off with the water. It's sticking to the fish. Lift up that fin. So when you fry it in hot grease, it's not gonna just come off like that. It's gonna stick, because you're gonna fry it on high because you just want the, the outside to get nice and crispy. Lift up your fin, put it on there. Inside, you got inside, oh, I'm gonna get around the neck. Don't forget the tips. I have to sort of like pat this because I don't want to get stuck again. Where's the other one? Sorry for the noise. See how that's curing to there? Now I have to bring it over and show it to you guys. See how that's curing there? Look how it's getting like a little coating on it. That's what I want right there. Because if you don't wait till it dry, then it starts running down. You got all the seasoning in the bottom of the bowl instead of it being on the fish. So I'm gonna let that um, go over here to my pan. I'm, I'm gonna take you guys to the other side. I don't know why I'm washing off these gloves, but I'm gonna take the gloves off. I'm gonna rip my knife off because I already I gotta cut my vegetables up. I need to put some of this fish water over here. I'm gonna come back and scrub that, but I just don't want that fish smell to sit on there. Okay, let me sit this over there by the stove and we can cut up my vegetables. peppers. Give myself some space here. I keep saying I'm gonna get a longer cutting board. So how are you guys doing today? If I haven't said, how are you guys doing? I hope you're enjoying the content of this video. I hope you have already subscribed to my channel to see future videos. But forgive me, my nose is running from those spices.
tomato. got my um, spatula. I got my spatula. Well, I'm not always using, oh, that's a lot of juice. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to get some more napkins, too. I usually, when, usually when I do tomatoes, I like to um, do them last because of the juice. Fresh parsley. Just a light little rough chop of the parsley. Mm. And I have to cut up my, oh, I forgot the onion. I knew it was something that was missing before I cut this up. Let me cut the onion up. Oh, do I have any more onions? Oh, no. Oh, no. I do. Now remember, guys, I always use Vidalia onions. And I'm only going to use half, I think. Uh, maybe. I'm just going to use the whole thing because he used, he loves the onions. So it ain't like they go to waste in the food. He'll pick out the onions and eat the onions and leave everything else. Hold on. That's too big. Hold on. That's a big piece of in there. Just gonna dice some holes. Three garlics. Why sometimes these things are like hard to peel off? Am I not breaking it right sometimes? The peeling of them sometimes is amazing. And I know I flattened them out. So this one is completely flat, but those just don't want to come off. Until I start slicing them in cute pieces and then everything wants to come off while I'm cutting them up. Okay. Okay, my garlic. 
So let's go over to my stove. To prepare my fish. I need to go get another um, paper towel. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're on this side of the stove now. So I just put some oil in my pan. I put about, let me show you guys because I'm bad with measurements. I put about a third of oil in the pan and I got it set on high because you want to fry the fish fast on the outside. You don't want it to get completely done that it's going to start breaking apart. Okay, so I'm waiting on the oil to get hot. And the way you can tell, it might be already hot, is you take a wooden spoon and you stick it in the oil. If it starts bubbling like that, you see that right there coming up? Tells me that my oil is hot. Okay, so I'm gonna add my fish. Okay, so we're gonna add the first fish here. And what you wanna do is you wanna place it face down first into the oil. Slowly, like that. And you take the other one and you face it the other way. Face down first into the oil. Slowly, like that. And you want it to get nice and crispy on one side. Then we're gonna flip it. Then we're gonna take it out, maybe Two minutes on one side and maybe two to three minutes on one side and two to three minutes on the other side and then you're going to take it out and the oil that I'm using is um, peanut butter oil oh. peanut butter oil is good for frying it gives it that crispy but nice flavor but if you're allergic to peanuts I don't recommend you use peanut oil you can also use vegetable oil too if you would like, but I prefer to use peanut butter, peanut oil when I'm frying. Because for me, it gives the food much more flavor. Okay, so we're gonna let that fry on one side for maybe two minutes. And then we're gonna flip it to the other side. And then we're gonna take it out. And we're gonna put the last one in with all three of the tails that I had cut off right here. Hopefully we shouldn't have that much oil left because the grease oil that I'm going to use here is what I'm going to use to stir fry the vegetables with. Because then it already has all the seasonings in the oil, the peanut oil. Then I'll put all the vegetables in this oil. I might have to take some of the oil out. It depends on what's left. Once I get to frying all the fish, I'll drain some of the oil out. Leave all the crumbs and everything, the flavors that came from the fish and add the vegetables inside of that. And then I'm gonna add my um, ketchup. I'm gonna, oh my God, I forgot to pour me some water. And there's no way this water is gonna be ready by the time my fish gets ready. Oh man, I'm gonna try it. Let me take off my glove, cause I don't need the glove right now. So I'm gonna put it back here and hopefully it get a little bit simmer. If I can get them little bubbles on the bottom, it will be perfect as well. Let me check it. Then I'm gonna let you guys see it too before I flip it. All right, so let me, oh, I don't know if I can, no. I'm not gonna chance it because this is frying and I don't wanna um, hold the camera and show you guys. I'm just gonna try to let, I hope you can see it when I flip it. You can pause it. Look at the fish and see how it looks on that side. Remember, I only had it here for maybe a minute or two. All I want to do is get that skin char crispy. Now I'm going to flip this one.
maybe a minute or two. That's all we need for the fish before I take it out. Let me put on the glove so I can be able to lift up this fish. Let me get a little pot ready because I might have to drain some of this grease out if it don't um, evaporate out. how nice and charred that fish is that's what you want let me show you i can show you guys now see how that looks on that side that's what we're looking for we just want the outside to be nice crispy brown okay the fish is not completely done yet i just want the outside to have that nice crispiness okay i'm going to turn you guys around and this is what I'm going to be adding to it when I put the water in. The ketchup, the allspice, and this is browning. I didn't even realize that the, um, the packet came off. All right, so this fish is ready to come out. I'm going to put it here on this plate. Remember, it's not ready. Remember, the fish is not ready. I just wanted to get that nice brownness to it. Remember, fish in head first. Then I'm just gonna put these tails in. Bringing my vegetables over now. Mm, that smells so good. So I don't need the glove anymore. This is how the fish is looking so far. Remember, it's not done yet. One, this one here might take a little bit longer because it's really big and it's really thick. So I'll probably put this one in first, but look like my water is gonna be ready by the time I get through frying up the vegetables. Let me get a rag here because I'm gonna have to wipe this pan off because I'm gonna have to dump some of that oil out. What I can do is flip over my tails because my tails are ready to be flipped. Let me check this one. Oh yeah, this is ready to be flipped. Hmm. Man, that looks good. So I don't care for fish like that, so I don't know if I'm gonna eat it. Look at me, I don't know if I'm gonna eat I know I'm gonna eat it. Because I, I try sometimes because look, to me, fish can't taste like fish. And for number one, this has a head on it. I don't mind cooking for my husband, I really don't, because I can always fix something for me and my daughter. She likes fish, but she just don't want to tolerate pulling out the bones, so she won't eat it. She likes fish, but she don't like. She just don't want to pull out the bones. So I'm gonna take the tails out. I'm gonna take take this fish out. I'm 
Remember, it's not done yet. Now I want to show you guys something. Ooh, I almost did a boo-boo. Let me flip you guys around. See that at the bottom? That's what I want. So what I'm doing now, as I took it off the eye, and I see all those flavors in that oil, that's what I want. You see it's still, it's bubbling there a little bit because the pan is still hot a little bit. But I need that to settle for maybe a minute, just settle down for me so I could pour some of the oil off. I wanna keep all that brown goodness at the bottom, okay? So what I'm doing is that I'm just like, got my little pot pot here that I just wanna, not, I don't wanna get all the juices, but I might take some of that flavor that's gonna pour out with this oil. I might and I might not. Look at all those flavors in there. So I need to wipe the bottom of this with my dish rag because I don't want none of the oil on the bottom of my pan. Okay. Look like my water is going to be boiling. So I'm going to take this and put it back on the stove and I'm going to incorporate all my vegetables. This time I'm going to hold it because I don't want to lose some onions because last time I had to... Um, I'm gonna put the tomatoes last a little bit. I want my vegetables to cook a little bit more before I add my tomatoes. Alrighty, so I turned my stove down on a medium low. I put the thyme in there, everything but the tomatoes. Because I don't want the tomatoes to make it mushy yet. Now it's time you're ready to add the boiling water and in, um, in there. My time. If you guys can see the water, you know, it's boiling. That's perfect. So now what I want to do is that let this get a nice cook simmer to it. Oh, all those spices that are in this pan is on this. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta be more careful. So what I'm gonna do now is put some of my allspice in here. And let it cook in there. My water's boiling over there, so that's perfect. I want to let that cook for like maybe just just a little bit, just make the um, the flavors combine with that oil and those seasonings on the bottom, just a little bit, just to make them combine a little bit. All righty, we're gonna give it like two minutes. Then I'm going to add the boiling water to it, and I'm going to add the ketchup and the browning. And we're going to let that cook for a little bit. And we're going to add the tomatoes. Okay, we're gonna add the water. I'm gonna let you see how much water, well, this was a small pot of water here. 
okay? One small pot of boiling water. I wish I knew how many out. Let me see. This is a one and a half quart. So that's how much water I put in here. Turn this stove off. See, it's continued to cooking. It has not stopped cooking because I added the hot water. Now what might slow it down is when I put this ketchup in it. Cause this ketchup is cold. Not really. Yeah, maybe. It changed the temperature a little bit in there. And we're just gonna put maybe a tad of the browning, just a little bit. See, just like that, that's all you need. Just, just a pinch of the browning. And you mix it well together. Now I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. And then we're gonna add the fish because I need everything to incorporate together. Being that I just put a blank canvas, canvas which is water, then I put ketchup, then I put some browning, then I put allspice. Those three was new um, seasonings that I added to um, the fish. So all this has to marinate together with the water. So I'm gonna let this simmer for like five minutes. Oh, I forgot to put some butter in it and some butter, hold on. A teaspoon of butter, just a teaspoon of butter in here, like that. And you're gonna put it, dump it in. I like this butter. I know some people say that's not butter, but it's butter to me. You know, I use the other butter when I'm making a spread, I mean, a spread or something. I use the other butter. I do have that other butter in there. So now, I'm just gonna let this cook. Let me see, has it started? I think it was already boiling. So for me, my time for cooking, once it starts boiling, because right now, it, now it starts to boil. Let me let you guys look at it so you can see. See it's boiling now? That's the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna put my lid on it. And I'll see you guys back in five minutes. You guys, I'm so distracted. It's raining, the dogs keep barking, and I forgot an ingredient, my tomatoes. I was gonna put that in when I put the water in with everything else. So here we go. So if you guys probably say, well, I didn't say how to put the tomatoes in there. Here they are. Okay, so we're gonna let that go for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's check it. Oh, wow, look at there. Hmm, it's time to add the fish. I'm gonna sit you guys down so I can add the fish. I mean, turn you around, sorry. All righty, so we're gonna be adding the fish now. That looks so good. Tails in there. Put this next nice size one with the tail here. Ooh, ooh. Yellow fish here. Like that. Move that over so I could put this one. Let me not open it all the way up from this. Put this one right here. 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 Here or there. Here. Trying to make sure it all fits inside. Well, it doesn't have to necessarily fit all the way because. Oh Ooh, you saw that? That juice went off that tail. There we go. Got it down in there. Put that tail back right there and put that tail right there. Oh, 
bring some of that goodness to the top. Gonna let that simmer for about 15 minutes. Oh, let me let you guys see it. I almost forgot to show you guys how it does. See, and we're gonna let that simmer. Ooh, look at there. Look at the juices, look at there. Hmm. We're gonna let that simmer. Take this one and put it over here since it looks like it'll go down more into the juice. Alrighty, be back in about 15 minutes. So, how you guys liking the contents of my videos so far? I hope you subscribe to my channel and I hope you hit that notification bell so you guys be notified when I put up a next video. Okay, let's go check the fish. All right, we are done. We are done. We are done. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do now, see? The chicken is still whole. It's still nice and firm. Look at there. Ooh, so nice and firm. It's not gonna break apart. I'm gonna be able to take this whole piece of fish out and mount it on a plate for my husband. Okay? I'll put one on a plate so you guys can get a full view of how it looks. And there you have it, my YouTube fam, fans, brown stew fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. My husband loves fish. So even remember, even this dish is for vegans and, um, um, vegans and vegetarians as well. You guys should try this dish too. I lost my chain of thought. I go through that. So you guys have a wonderful, safe, and a blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. Share your videos with all your friends and all your family so they could be notified when the next video is up. So you guys have a good day. Bye.